Okay, now that we've created a data table that tracks the cost of each possible option, the make option, buy option, new machine option, here is the data table. We would like to make a chart showing the relationship. So first we select the numbers of the data table starting with the first input straight across and all the way to the bottom. Um, and then we hold the control key because we want to also select these headings. So I'm going to hold the control key down and click and drag to select those headings. And you'll notice that now there's a discontinuous selection for making a chart, which is what we want actually. So we go to insert and we choose a scatter chart. We want the one with straight lines. And uh, there it is. These headings have become the names of each of these series in the chart. The input quantity is along the bottom and the total cost is along the left side. Um, I'd like to um, add some axis labels so I go to quick layout and I choose options. There's one. The option I picked was the top left option. I can even change the title. Break even analysis. Make person buy versus new machine. All right. And so there I've made a break even chart. You'll notice that my break even points for make and buy is right at 10,000. You see where the line intersects roughly. And so I know if I produce less than 10,000 units, I go with the line on the bottom, which is the blue line. So if I'm making less than 10,000 units, I choose to make my product as I'm doing currently. However, if I'm past 10,000 units, the lowest cost is the red line, which is the option to buy from an external source. The break-even point here is 24,000. And you can see that beyond this point, the green line is the cheapest option. And so after making 24,000 units, or if I, know, if I know that I'm going to be making more than 24,000 units per year, I'll choose the green line or the new machine option. And that is the break-even analysis.